Good afternoon from gray and damp Happy Valley where Maryland falls 38-14. This is Wayne Viner. This is intern Mason. This is the Viner Consulting Postgame Show brought to you by Meyer Consulting Engineers of Rockville. Mason, what happened to the vaunted Maryland defense today? Well, they were just simply run over by Saquon Barkley in the Penn State offense. McSorley run around too much and well they gave up 38 points. It was 38 painful points. The Penn State band and alumni band are behind us. It's homecoming here. The shutdown corners didn't and the offense looked slow but as Bruce pointed out, Bruce is back in the studio, it's tough to win on the road. Did it feel like a real road game coming to Happy Valley? Yeah there were 100,000 plus here there were some Maryland fans, but the Penn State fans, they put on a show, and what a home field advantage they have. Yeah, it's a lot like coming to a Maryland basketball game, coming here to a football game. Uh, I'm disappointed because my gang, which is the offensive line, really didn't have a push. Terrence Davis got a start at guard. The rest were the same. Uh, Minter out there, he played well enough from where we sat. Uh, Dunn and Prince at the tackles. Brendan Moore was out there, it, it just couldn't get Maryland's offense going. What do you think of, uh, do you think the Hills going out of the game sort of ended it for the Terps? Well, they did get some drives with Pigrone, but they needed Hills a leadership as a senior here on the road. And well, that was your reason why Pigrone isn't quite ready to be the starter yet. Yeah, he did come in, the one electric play got that touchdown. Uh, you know, we had a lot of tricks, the hands off to the wide receivers, the block, punt. We tried a lot of things, but in the end, Penn State really had a nice carryover effect from their big win against Minnesota in overtime last week, and that's Maryland's next opponent. Meyer Consulting Engineers. In the past five years, our organization has completed over 1,300 projects in the U.S. and abroad, including many structures at the University of Maryland. For structural engineering and materials testing and inspection, call Meyer Consulting Engineers. Put a little extra spark in the game against the Gophers? Well, they come in with Mitch Leiner, another running quarterback, so it'll be interesting to see how Maryland reacts to how McSorley ran on them. And you hope that Perry Hills is back and you're back home, so you should win. Should win. I'm going to take that as a positive. Uh, in closing, uh, Maryland 270 yards, Penn State 574, Penn State 372 on the ground, Terps 170, 100 through the air, Penn State 152 through the air. That was a real killer, that throw down the right sideline at the end of the third quarter. Yeah, J.C. Jackson fell over, and I believe that it was Tompkins that caught it and ran it in, but the Maryland corners were falling over on some of the routes, and that might have made the difference a few first downs early in the game and then that big play that really ended it it did but it was fun being out here and you know we'll get them next week so for intern mason and bruce who's back in the studio this is wayne viner 38 to 14 the terps fall to penn state on homecoming in happy valley we will see you on the radio for in the nest tomorrow sunday morning at nine and then terp talk on wednesday at six and we'll be back for the Sports Maven next Saturday, 9 a.m., all on 1300 CBS Sports Radio in Baltimore. And we will see you after Maryland takes on Minnesota in College Park. Mason, say goodbye. Good